I've been thinking, you know, a lot of people say, oh, I'm prepping for, say, EMP. I'm prepping for a CME, which is coronal mass ejection. I'm prepping for a super volcano. I'm prepping for aliens to land, I've even heard. These people, I think, are fooling themselves. The one thing every prepper, every person in the world needs to prep for is something so simple and people don't think about it. People need to prep for civil unrest, which is a nice way of saying rioting and looting, and killing and stuff like that. People need to prep for, the, for this because I don't care if it's a CME which knocks out your power with an EMP. I don't care if it's a zombie apocalypse, which to me seems like a foolish thing to prep for. I'm prepping for the undead to come back. Yeah. Or if you're prepping for a super volcano to erupt. Everything that people are, say they're prepping for has one common thread. And that is going to be civil unrest. People are going to go stupid and lose their mind. And they are going to riot. They are going to loot. And they're going to take anything that isn't nailed down. And if it is nailed down, they're going to pry it loose and then come back for the nails. That's the God's honest truth. I've seen it in Hurricane Katrina in 2005. I wasn't in New Orleans. I was in Waveland and Bay St. Louis, Mississippi. i seen a man who was about 70 years old steal a shopping cart full of tampons. The man was like 70 years old. What is he then for? I can understand stealing a box or two boxes. Maybe you have a relative that needs them. Maybe you got somebody that's been stabbed or shot or something and you need one to stick in their wound. Something like that I can understand. But this man had a shopping cart heaped full of these things. Why? What do you need that many for? Unless he had some kind of giant harem I didn't know about. <laughs> that was all. It was that time of the month for all of them. But that was stupid. That just shows that people are stupid, greedy animals. That are going to steal anything and everything they can. And this is going to happen no matter what what sets off its HTF. Unless it's the actual Earth itself exploding and killing everybody pretty much instantly. That's the only way it's not going to happen. If there's one person left on Earth, they're going to go around, they're going to loot and steal everything they can. And they're not going to think about it. They're going to be like, yeah, pfft, whatever. I've seen people stealing Xbox 360s. Playstations. DVD players. Blu-ray. What do you need that for? You don't have the electric... A lot of people say, well, yeah, but I'll have it afterwards. <laughs> it's not going to help you. And if you get caught, somebody could probably shoot you. You could be arrested. The cops down here was actually telling people, if you loot, we will arrest you. We'll hold you in the dog pens if we have to. You will be arrested for looting, period. Plain and simple. After Hurricane Katrina, I'm not trying to say I was a, I was Billy Badass, I was some G.I. Joe Rambo, th something like that. I wasn't none of that. I'll tell you, after Hurricane Katrina, I laid in a building that we was in. It's now called Ricky's Restaurant. I laid on in this building on a deflated air mattress because the glass popped it. I laid there with an 18-inch butcher knife on my chest. The entire night. I laid there with my hand like this the entire night. Holding this knife. I laid there wide awake. Didn't sleep. Not one single wink. I laid there and I looked out through the roof at the sky. And I laid there. 
all night like that, waiting to see if somebody was going to come in and loot. Because where I had positioned myself, I positioned myself so they couldn't get past me without waking me up or alerting me since I wasn't sleeping. I laid there in the back door. I had it tied shut so they couldn't pull it open. After the water went out, we had to cut the rope to let the water out. I had it strung out tight. I lay there the entire night, wide awake, waiting to see if somebody was going to come in and loot and steal what we had. Because when I left, after that storm, I didn't even have a shirt on my back. I had a pair of socks, a pair of boots, a pair of underwear, and a pair of jeans. And that was it. Other than my family. That's all I had. And I'll be damned if I was going to let some low-life scumbag come in there and take what my family had. Had somebody come in there, they might have killed me. They probably would have. But they would have done it, and they would have had a hell of a fight on their hands. And if they didn't kill me, I was going to damn well make sure they was messed up. Prepare for looting. Prepare for riots. Make sure you prepare for that. Do it like Miami Prepper says. Do it for 90 days. Three months. Three months worth of food. Three months worth of water. Because people that are going to loot, steal, and everything are going to be like locusts. That's the way it's going to be. They're going to descend... They're going to come, they're going to pick the area clean, and then they're going to move on to another area. I'm prepping for 90 days to start. Then I'm going to look around and see what's going on. If the locust people are still there, then I'm going to prep for another 90 days to make sure. I'm going to have enough food and enough water that I can hold out for as long as I need to. I have here something I see made. The pill bottle. Inside this pill bottle is two bottle caps. One on the bottom here, you can see I've poked holes in it and cotton balls. What this is going to do, this is a water filter. I'm going to pull this cap out, the top cap, and I'll pour my water in the top. And it'll drain through and come out the bottom. I'll still have to use my water tablets, but that cotton will filter out a good portion of the big stuff, and the water tablets will kill anything in it. This has become one of my EDCs. I carry this everywhere. Water's not going to be an issue for me. Food's not going to be an issue. I've got snare wires. I've got traps. I've got mouse traps and rat traps. You need to prep for civil unrest first and foremost. Everything else is just icing on the cake. If you get a gas mask, make sure it's NBC, nuclear, biological, and chemical. That way, no matter what happens, you got a gas mask that you can depend on. You get filters for it, NBC filters, nuclear, biological, chemical. Same with an NBC suit. Looters and rioters and everything, they're going to shoot tear gas at them. If you're in the area, you're going to be collateral damage. The gas mask will help with that. The NBC suit will help with that. Make sure you're prepping for riots, looting, and all of that first. And then start prepping for the other things. Expand. People ask me, what are you prepping for? I'm prepping for every damn thing. Everything. Everything in my bag has more than one use. This little Bofang radio, it has more than one use. I can listen to somebody that I'm watching. I can turn it on and listen to them. I can communicate with somebody on here. It's got a flashlight on it. 
everything in that bag has more than one use. Even if it's only for me to use and to barter with if I need to. Everything has more than one use. Everything. But you gotta prep first and foremost for civil unrest, the rioting and the looting and everything. And remember, people are gonna be locusts. They're gonna take what they want. They're gonna strip an area clean and they're gonna move on. It don't matter if you're in the city or if you're in the country or you're somewhere in between. You're gonna get hit with it. You need to prep for that and make sure you have it done. And then start branching off. If you want to prep for the super volcano, prep for the super volcano, I don't care. Great, whatever. You want to prep for aliens coming down to probe you. <laughs> go for it. You want to prep for the zombies, go for it. But make sure you're prepping for civil unrest first and foremost. Take it from me. I've been there, I've done that, and I've seen it don't want to go through that. Believe me, really don't want to go through that. What I've seen was hell on earth. I tell people I've seen the best in people and I've seen the worst. And I really have. I've seen the best in people and I've seen the worst in them. But prep for your civil unrest first and foremost. I'll sign off now.